Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today's practice is a live stream class, and we're going to focus on the low back, kind of restoring the low back, strengthening the low back, stretching it out, just having that feel good area all the way through the backside down into the hips and the low back. So gather your props, your um, blocks, your strap, something to sit on, and we're going to start in a reclined position. So once you're ready, press play, and we'll see you on your back. Enjoy the practice. Once you're on your back, take any shape that you'd like. It can be knees bent. If specifically your low back or your hips are bothering you, bend your knees, take your feet like the distance of your mat and kind of take your knees inward. And you can adjust your feet closer or wider depending on how your back's feeling. And then maybe take your arms a little bit wider just to open and expand through the chest. And take a nice full inhale there and let it go. Arrive into the space, onto your mat, into your body. Connect with the sounds, the smells, the temperature of the air. Just allow yourself to become more present. Take another full inhale and let it go. Allow yourself to drop into that physical body. Scanning from head to toe, fingers to shoulders. Just scanning through the body, acknowledging where you are physically today. Areas of concern, injury, fatigue, and be mindful of that as you start to move today. And then take another full inhale. And let it go. Dropping down into that mental and emotional body. Notice the thoughts attached to anything and then emotions attached to those thoughts. Give all of them some validity, give all of them some loving kindness. And slowly start to let them go. Send them out of these four walls that you're in. Just allowing yourself to drop more and more into the present. More and more into the sensations of the body as you continue to lengthen and deepen your breath. Seeing if you can get the belly, ribs, and chest to expand in all directions, even down toward the floor as you breathe. And setting an intention today for this practice to feel good. Or to, excuse me, or to acknowledge the sensations happening in the backside of the body. <clears throat> if you have another intention, allow that intention to take form. And we'll set that intention with the sound of home or a sigh of the breath. Bring one hand to your heart center, one hand to your belly. <clears throat> Exhale fully here. Inhale. Ooh. On your next exhale, release those hands by your side. Turn your palms down. Bend your knees if they're not there already. Take the knees straight up to the sky, press down into those feet. And as you inhale, you're just gonna lengthen your tailbone to the floor. So almost like you're lifting your lower back up off the floor, arching your back. And as you exhale, press the low back down, let the tailbone slightly lift as you squeeze your glutes. And again, inhale, lengthen tailbone down. Exhale, press the low back down. A couple more times like that, just kind of getting into that low back area, right? Noticing the sensations there, the 
back right there at the sacrum, the top of the hip crest on the back side of the body. Take one more. And the next time you get to that exhale position and that low back's pressed in, the tailbone's lengthened and you squeeze those glutes, press in with the hands and lift the hips. Good, exhale, lower the hips. Good, inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower the hips. So those glutes are in, are squeezed the entire time. We're just finding length in the front body, kind of getting into those hip flexors. Good, one more time here. Lifting those hips. Pause here for a moment. Squeeze the glutes more. Imagine dragging your heels to your shoulders and then press in with the feet. Good, another breath here. And then as you exhale, slowly release it down. Gonna draw those knees into your chest, give them a squeeze, rock a little bit from side to side. And on your next inhale, keep that right knee at your chest, take your left foot to the floor. Gonna just kind of rock that right knee from side to side. And then take that right leg lifted up to the sky, release the hands from the leg and just kind of bend and straighten that leg toward the sky. So as you inhale, lengthen it. As you exhale, bend. So I'm just kind of getting into the hips, the hamstrings, a little bit more into the low back. And as you inhale, draw that knee all the way into the chest. As you exhale, draw the left knee into your chest. Again, rock a little bit from side to side. <clears throat> and then take that right knee, right foot to the floor, hugging the left knee in and just continue to rock a little bit from side to side. And then taking that left leg up to the sky as you inhale, straighten it, exhale, bend. So again, continuing that with your breath, straightening and bending. Just kind of warming up through the back side of the body. We're getting a little bit more into core and legs here in a moment. And then draw that left knee into your chest, draw the right knee into your chest again, rock from side to side. So we're gonna do a little bit of core. If you need to keep the extended leg bent, please do. So like we just did here. But here you're gonna keep your right knee in at your chest, extend your left leg long, and then curl yourself up to that left, to that right knee. Then take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the head, switch the legs. Then as you inhale, curl up to that left knee. As you exhale, drop the head, switch legs. But inhale, curl up. Exhale, release and switch legs. Inhale, curl up. Exhale, release, switch legs one more time each side. Inhale, curl up. Exhale, release, switch legs. Inhale, curl up. And as you exhale, release the head, draw both knees into the chest again, rock a little bit from side to side. You're gonna take both feet to the floor. Take your feet as wide as your mat, the wider the better here for windshield wipers. And then drop your knees to the left, pause there, really squeeze through the right hip. Good, and then take your knees all the way up and over to the opposite side. Again, squeeze through that left glute. And then all the way back to the other side. Good. Do this a couple more times, pausing where you feel like you need to. Maybe finding some extra length in the sideways, taking those arms back up overhead, so finding some length from armpit to hip. Then slowly come back to center once you've completed both sides equally. And draw those knees back into your chest. Give them a little squeeze. Point and flex through the feet.
And then any way you need to, you're going to make your way to hands and knees. So maybe that's rocking and rolling on your spine. Maybe that's going from side and rolling forward. Have those blocks handy on the top of your mat. Once you're on your hands and knees, maybe do a couple rounds of cat-cow. Taking a couple deep breaths here, moving the spine through extension and flexion. So your inhales will lengthen you. Your exhales will round you. And just continue on a couple more rounds here. Kind of moving with intention, moving with awareness. And one more round. And then come to a neutral spine. So from here, we're gonna take ourselves all the way to the floor. So all the way down onto your belly. And you're gonna take your arms, reach them back toward your feet, resting your forehead on the ground. As you inhale, just lift your shoulder blades up and back. Then then as you exhale, lift just your right leg. So engage through that right side, press through the hands, shoulders back. And as you exhale, release everything down. Again, inhale, shoulders roll back, head stays down. And as you exhale, lift just the left leg. You're just kind of strengthening the back body here. Press in with the hands, press in with pubic bone. And then slowly release everything down. Good, again, inhale, shoulders roll back, maybe head lifts, right leg lifts. Stay for an exhale. Good, inhale, slowly lower down. Stay for an exhale. On your inhale, shoulders back, head lifts, left leg only, press with hands. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, slowly lower down, exhale, relax. Press in with hands, inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the head. And then if it feels okay in your low back, exhale, lift both legs. If it doesn't feel good, keep the left leg down. And then on your next inhale, switch your legs. Good. Otherwise, both legs are up, press with the hands, and exhale, release. Good. Bend those elbows, press your hands by your side, tuck your toes, press back knees. Take those knees wide, bring your big toes to touch, sit back into child's pose. Good. And then don't go all the way down. Press with those arms. Arms are straight. Good. Press with those hands. Send them back to your hips, right? So your hips are going back to your heels. And just kind of rock a little bit from side to side, right? Kind of check in with that low back. Good. And then as you inhale, press yourself back up to hands and knees. Exhale, draw those knees underneath the hips, tuck your toes, and then drop your elbows down so your elbows are underneath your shoulders. So you're on knees and forearms. And then do a little cat cow here. As you inhale, lengthen. Roll the shoulders back, lift the hips. As you exhale, chin to chest, rounding the spine. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Good. One more here. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Good. Inhale, long spine. And then as you exhale, press down into the hands, press into the elbows, straighten the legs. So you might come off your mat a little bit. So you're in this low plank. Good. And then slowly let the hips drop. Ground through the toes, ground through the pubic bone, press into the hands and pull the heart forward into that sphinx pose. Good. Shoulders draw down and away. Imagine someone's pulling you forward on your mat as you ground down through the toes. Good. Take another breath here. Exhale. Good. As you inhale, roll the shoulders forward. Tuck your toes so your hips can lift. Walk those knees in a little bit. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips. Find a little dolphin pose. Take the feet wide. Bend the knees so you're still on your forearms, right? And then you're just bending your knees and kind of rocking your hips from side to side. And then drop the knees, 
Bring the big toes to touch. Sit back, child's pose. Relax the arms. So let your head drop, let your arms drop. Take three deep breaths here. Good. One more big breath. And exhale. Good. Press into those hands as you inhale. Bring yourself forward. And as you exhale, we're going to do a little thread the needle for the upper back. Press down into that right hand. As you inhale, take the left arm, reach it up to the sky. As you exhale, take that left arm all the way under the right. Reach, reach, reach. Come up onto those right fingertips. And then shift your hips back toward the left. Pull up through the low belly, kind of lean into the head and let the head and neck be relaxed. So finding that stretch through the upper back, you might even feel it all the way down into the low back. Two more breaths here. Exhale fully here. Press down into that right hand as you inhale, take the left arm all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, left hand down. Good. Bring those hands underneath the shoulders. As you inhale, lengthen, find cap. And as you exhale, find cap. Good. Inhale, neutral spine. And exhale there. Taking that right arm, reach it up to the sky. Big inhale here. As you exhale, that left arm is going to slide, or sorry, the right arm is going to slide under the left. Come up onto the left fingertips. Roll the shoulders back and then shift your hips to the right. Keep reaching to the left, let the head be heavy. And then draw up through the low belly so you're leaning into your arms. Take two deep breaths here. Good. Pressing down into that left hand as you inhale, reach the right arm up and exhale down. Good. Ground those hands underneath the shoulders as you inhale, lengthen, cow. Exhale, press and round cap. And as you inhale, find neutral spine. As you exhale, straighten those legs, find plank. Good. Engage through the core, lengthen tailbone, press through those hands. Toward your heels. So press those heels back in a little stretch into the calves. Good. Another big inhale. And then as you exhale, bend the knees, lift the hips, find your downward facing dog. Right? So move a little bit, shift the hips from side to side, bend and straighten those legs. Just kind of check in with the hips and hamstrings here. And then find some stillness. Take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance, maybe even the distance of your mat apart. Bend deeply into both knees. Press into those hands, lift those hips. And then as you exhale, straighten just the right heel toward the floor. So the right leg's going to go straight. Left knee stays bent. Good. Take another breath there. And then bend back into both knees. Good. On your next inhale, straighten just the left leg, pressing that left heel toward the floor. Right knee stays bent. And exhale. Good. As you inhale, bend into both knees. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Find that plank. Good. It might be a little short plank. Stay there. Take an inhale. And then exhale, bend the knees, press it back down. We're done. Good. Knees are nice and bent. And then on your next exhale, once again, straighten the right leg. And then this time that left knee, instead of pointing toward the floor, point it toward the right side of your mat. So you're kind of twisting your body in this downward dog, getting into that low back, outer hip. And then bend both knees, come back to center. And then as you exhale, straighten just that left leg. Good, and now that right knee is going to kind of point toward the left, so you're kind of shifting and twisting your body a little bit. Exhale here. Good, 
Then as you inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bend deeply into both knees. Good. As you exhale, straighten both legs. Good. Inhale, bend into both knees. And as you exhale, walk your hands back toward your feet. Once your feet are firmly on the floor, bend your knees, relax your head forward, and give those wrists some wrist circles, right? To the left and to the right, give your head a little nod, yes. A little shake, no. And then releasing those hands toward the floor. Press down into those legs, hands to knees or shins. Inhale, lengthen the spine, straighten the legs. Exhale, pause here. Good, so press into the legs to lengthen the chest forward. Engage the legs. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. So you feel this weight leaning into the toes and then press your heel down. Good, another breath here. As you exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Good, as you inhale, once again, lengthen the spine. Press into those legs, engage the back body, maybe hands start to float backwards, palms down like you did on the floor. Good, take another inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly start to bend the knees and fold forward. Good, as you inhale, keep bending into the knees, walk yourself out to plank. Exhale and plank. Good. Take an inhale and plank. And then as you exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Take a breath and downward dog. Exhale. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, bring those knees down. Good. Taking that left knee, draw it to the center line of your mat. Take your right leg extended long. So a little bit of balance here, a little bit of strength for the low back. And then lift that right leg up, squeeze the glute. So it's not cow pose, it's not cat pose, it's nice long spine. And if this bothers your wrist to press down, you can come up onto fists. But then eventually you're gonna take that left arm and extend it long. Good, breathing here. Good, take another inhale. As you exhale, bring that left hand down, right knee down. Bring the right knee to the center line, extend the left leg low. Good, engage to the core and then lift the heel without arching the back, pull that low belly in. Breathe here, find that engagement through the glutes and then take your right arm forward. Good, breathing, embrace the wobble. Good, another big inhale. And then as you exhale, right hand down, left knee down. Tuck the toes, take the knees wide, sit back on those heels and give those arms a break. Drop to the elbows. So it's wide leg, tuck toed child's pose. Breathe into the low back. Let that low back just kind of relax. We're gonna do, uh, do another round, but with a little bit of movement. Exhale here. Good. As you inhale, come forward, hands and knees. Bring that left, <clears throat> excuse me, left knee to the center line. Take the right leg long. And again, hands are either flat or you're on fists. Take the left arm forward. Take the right leg back. Good. This time you're going to find that little cow pose. As you inhale, lift and open. And then as you exhale, round and find cats. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose, elbow to belly button. Good, one more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round, stay in that rounded position. Good, take another inhale, squeeze in. Exhale, inhale, lengthen to back out. Exhale, hand down, knee down. Good, take that right knee to the center line, left leg extends back. Take the right arm, reach it forward. And on your inhale, lift leg and arm, find cat. Exhale, elbow to knee, knee to nose, round it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round, hold that rounded position. 
Pull everything in tighter, taking them out of their breath. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hand down, knee down. Tuck those toes, knees wide. Hips to heels, relax the forearms down. Let everything drop toward the floor. Take two breaths here. A nice big inhale. And exhale. Press into those hands as you inhale, come forward, hands and knees. Exhale, straighten those legs, find your plank. Good, and as you're in your plank, drop your knees, let your hips come forward, squeeze your glutes, roll the shoulders back. So just a little bit of opening in the front body. And then squeeze the glutes more, press the hips back, lift those hips downward facing dog. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, takes that right leg, lift it to the sky. Exhale, heel to bum, open it up. Find that little twist. Inhale, lengthen the leg. Exhale, draw knee to nose. And then step your right foot outside your right hand. So you're a little bit wider today. And then take that back knee to the ground. Good, blocks can come inside the feet if you need them for that little bit more of a lift. But kind of press into that right foot, roll the shoulders back and let those hips come forward just a little bit. So back toe can be tucked or flat, depending on how your knee feels today. Good, and then keep rolling the shoulders back. Take your right hand to your right knee, and then just turn the right toes out to the right a little bit and lean that right knee away as you open your chest toward the right. Good, just take a couple breaths here. And then bringing that back to center. Good, hands are gonna stay on the blocks. Turn those blocks up one level from wherever they are. Bring them back by your heel and then just shift your hips back to straighten that front leg so it's kind of out on an angle. Getting into the back of the leg for a moment. And then bend back into that knee again. Keep lifting the chest, maybe hands come to knee, roll the shoulders back. And just find that little sweet spot, like rocking back and forth where you can engage the glutes, feel the left hip, but also feel like you can stand up into your legs if you need it. So you're not all the way forward, you're not all the way back. And then bring those hands back behind you, either interlink the fingers or tuck your hands into your back pockets if you have them. And roll the shoulders back. Good, opening that front body. Tailbone keeps lengthening down. Exhale here. Good, as you inhale, take those arms all the way up to the sky. Good, as you exhale, hands to heart, press those palms, roll the shoulders back, take an inhale here, and then exhale, start to rotate toward that bent knee. As so you're rotating toward the right, finding that twist using the core. And then take your right arm, the one behind you, reach it back. Good, palm faces the direction you're looking. And then take your left arm, reach it forward. Palms are facing the direction you're looking. And then that left hand's gonna come either down to the floor or to a block and find a little different twist. And to alleviate a little bit more of that sensation on that left knee, straighten the left leg. Good, breathing here. Can you let those hips drop as you reach your right arm to the sky? A big inhale here. Stay to exhale. Inhale, take that right hand, circle it down inside the right leg. Bring those blocks up onto their highest height and then straighten the right leg. The right leg's nice and straight. Maybe even press so hard into that right heel that the toes can lift any little bit. Breathing into the back of the leg here. One more big inhale. And exhale. And as you inhale, bend into that front knee. Exhale, bring those hands down inside that right leg. 
Press down into those hands, step it back, downward facing dog. Good, as you inhale, bend into both knees deeply. Exhale, straighten those legs. Good, inhale, takes the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, heel to bum, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose, and then take that left foot, step it side the left hand. And let that back knee come down. Pausing here for a moment, bringing those blocks underneath if you need that little extra lift. <clears throat> Good. And then taking that left hand to the left knee, turn those left toes slightly out so they're maybe off your mat, and then drop that knee out to the side. So let your hips drop forward, roll the shoulders back. Just getting into those hips a little differently. And then come back to center, bring those hands down, pressing down into that foot, bring those hands up a little bit taller. Good, breathing here. And then pressing your hands down onto that front knee, roll the shoulders back. And then kind of just finding that little space where tailbone can lengthen, you still feel that hip, so you're pressing into your legs, so if you needed to, you could stand up. And as you inhale, take those arms up. And as you exhale, bring them down behind you, either tuck them into those back pockets or interlink the fingers, roll the shoulders back. Good, still squeezing that back glute, lengthening tailbone down. And as you inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart, press through those hands, roll the shoulders back. Chest is lifted as you inhale, rotate toward that left knee. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Good, breathing here. Hmm. And then taking that left hand, reach it back behind you, palm faces forward. Take the right arm, reach it forward, palm faces the direction you're looking. And then that right hand's gonna come down to block or floor, left arm's gonna reach up. And then to take that pressure off of that right knee, tuck the toes, straighten the right leg. So power up that leg. Let the hips drop as that left arm reaches. Nice big wide stretch here. Twisting, big inhale here. Exhale. As you inhale, circle that top hand all the way down to the block inside. Bring those blocks up on the top, tallest height and then straighten that front leg. We're just gonna bend and straighten in this because I didn't do it from the knee. <laughs> bend and straighten so it's not too intense this first time. And then straighten it. Press into those hands, maybe draw the toes back. Breathing into the back of the leg there. Two more breaths. Exhale fully. As you inhale, bend into that front knee. Exhale, plant the hands inside that foot. And on your next inhale, step it back, find your downward dog. Good, as you inhale, bend deeply into both knees. As you exhale, straighten the legs. Good, inhale, come forward, plank. Exhale, lower knees or toes all the way to the floor. Find that locust pose, reach the arms back, press to the hands, inhale, lift just the feet and shoulders. Good, pubic bone presses, hands press, lift the back body. And then as you exhale, ground the toes, Hands by your side, tuck the toes, press back hips to heels, find that child's pose. So toes can be tucked or flat. Take three deep breaths in child's pose. Really think of rounding the spine here. Relaxing through that mid to low back. One more full inhale here. And exhale. Good, as you inhale, reach through those arms again. Exhale, shift forward, tuck the toes, lift the hips, find downward dog. 
Good, big inhale and dog. And exhale. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, heel to bum, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee toward nose, step that foot forward. Between the hands, back heel is gonna stay up. Good, roll the shoulders back. Hover the hands. Good, and then as you inhale, sweep those arms up, really engage through that back body, feeling that left hip. Shoulders roll down and back. Good, breathing here. And then taking that right hand, drop it down to your right hip, press into your right hip to grow the left side longer. So you're pressing down to lift up and then slightly lean to your right to feel a little side stretch on the left. Good, take another breath here. Inhale, reach both arms back up, come to center. And then as you exhale, hands to heart again. Rotate toward that right leg. So you're twisting toward that bent knee. Good. This time, take your left hand to your knee. Right arm reaches back. Good. Take another big breath here. Exhale. Good. As you inhale, lean your left elbow toward your right knee. Right arm's going to reach to the sky. Good. Take another breath. And then as you exhale, release everything to the ground, hands to the ground, untwist. And then exhale, grab those blocks, straighten that front leg again. Good, breathing into it. This time, push down into the toes, push the foot into the floor. Just feel the difference of that stretch. And then take that left hip, rotate it slightly toward your left hand. Good. Bend back into that knee. Plant the hands to the floor and step it back to downward dog. Good. As you inhale, bend into both knees. Exhale, straighten both legs. Inhale, left leg reaches to the sky. Exhale, heel to bump. Open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose and step that foot forward. Good, back heel is going to stay up. Heart forward, hover the hands, find your balance. And then inhale, sweep those arms up. Good, find that high lunge. Breathing into it here. Squeezing that glute, lifting the chest, finding length through the side waist. And then taking that left hand down to your hip, press down into that leg to lift and lengthen the right side. And then exhale, slightly lean to the left to have a little bit of a stretch on that right side. A couple breaths here. And then inhale, take both arms straight back up. Exhale here. Inhale, hands to heart. As you exhale, rotate toward that bent knee. Good, find the engagement first. Good, and then that right hand's gonna come to the front knee. Left arm's gonna reach back. Good, keeping your balance. Smooth, steady breath. And then start to lean forward so that right elbow can come to your knee. And that left arm's gonna reach to the sky. Good, take a couple more breaths. On your next inhale, look down. Exhale, bring both hands down. Good, gather those blocks by your heel and then straighten that front leg. And again, this time really press down into the ball of the foot, press into the heel, and then take that right hip, bring it toward your right wrist. Breathing and really straightening into that front leg. Big inhale here. Exhale. As you inhale, slowly bend back into that front knee. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, downward facing dog. Good, nice big inhale and dog, bend both knees. Exhale, straighten both legs. 
As you inhale, come forward, plank. Exhale, lower knees or toes all the way to the floor. Good, ground through the toes, slide those elbows forward underneath the shoulders, so fix, first sphinx pose. Press into the hands, press into the elbows, and inhale, shoulders back, heart forward, tailbone drop, so press into the pubic bone, press into the tops of the feet. Exhale here. As you inhale, slowly drop the head, Tuck your toes, slide the elbows back. Press it back into child's pose. So toes can be flat or tucked. Find some heaviness here, find a little bit of rounding. And then inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, shift your weight forward, hands and knees, draw your knees together, point your toes back, sit back toward those heels again. And then this time, draw your hands back toward your feet. Let your shoulders round forward, let your head round forward, really round into the spine. Pull that tailbone down, chin toward chest, and take three deep breaths across the spine there. So getting into the low back, into those spinal muscles, let the shoulders and jaw be heavy. Exhale fully here. As you inhale, slide the hands by your knees. Exhale, press yourself up. Shift yourself to one side so you can drop those hips and swing those legs out front. Once your legs are out front, front, find a comfortable seat with your right shin in front of your left shin. And trying to have space, if you can, between your pubic bone and your shin, so they're going to be a little bit further forward, so they might not go down as low, but that's okay. We're working into that outer hip a little bit. And then I like to just wiggle a little bit from side to side and kind of pull my sit bones back a little bit just to really get into my outer hips. <laughs> Gonna just pause here, notice what it feels like. And if you need to sit up on a blanket, please do that or a block. And then press your hands down into the floor, press your feet into the floor, and then flex your feet. So draw your toes toward one another, breathe. Good, and then energetically press the knees down any little bit, right? So you're using your outer hips to draw the knees down. We're gonna add a little bit more resistance here. So either scoop your hands under your knees or forearms under your knees. Lift the knees, let them come up a little bit to let them relax. And then exhale, you're gonna press your knees into your arms or hands as you pull your chest forward. Again, press in with the feet as well. So your feet are flexed. So this is a great stretch along the outer hip, low back, right across the hip crest. Good, take another breath here. And then as you exhale, relax the legs, relax the feet, bring those hands forward any little bit, right? And rock a little bit from side to side. Maybe you can reach forward more. Maybe you're happy right where you are. Sometimes I like to do a little cat cow here. This really helps when my low back's bothering me. Nice little stretch for everything. And take one more breath wherever you are. And then slowly walk those hands back up. Take that right knee, draw it toward your chest. Press the right foot on the ground. So that left foot can either stay out a little bit or you can hug that right foot in, or sorry, your left foot in toward your right hip. And then start, just start to rotate toward that right leg. So as you're rotating toward the right leg, you're hugging it in, but you're resisting the knee away. For a little bit of a twist with some active stretch. And then keep holding that right knee with your left hand and take your right hand behind you. Then hug it in more, sit up nice and tall, press that right hand into the floor and roll the right shoulder back. Gonna take another breath here. 
exhale. Good, as you inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, lean toward your left side so you can take that right knee, bring it to the ground so your ankle comes behind you and you can grab that right ankle. And then walk that right foot back till you feel a little bit of a stretch in that front of your hip, down your quadricep. So hand and foot are resisting against one another. Knee is pressing down, hips pressing forward. Shoulders rolling back. Gotta take another breath here. Exhale. Good, release that ankle. Draw that right knee up. Draw your left knee up. Feet are a little bit wider, hands on your knees or shin as you inhale, find cow. Exhale, round into cats. Good, inhale, come to center. As you exhale, that left shin is going to be in front of your right shin. We're going to do all that on the second side. Good. So make sure there's space between your pubic bone and your shin. Flex down into the feet, hands down onto the ground, and then energetically press the knees down. Right. So use those inner groins, those hip muscles, those outer hips. So you're using those muscles there of the hip joint to pull the knees down. As you exhale, relax that. Either hands under the knees or forearms under the knees. Lift the knees, let them relax, and then press into the feet, flex the feet, pull the chest forward, and press the hands down as you resist them up with your arms. And the more that you can find that little length of the spine, maybe even a little bit of that cow pose, the deeper it gets down into those glutes and the piriformis, everything running across your sacrum into the outer hips. Two more breaths here. On your next exhale, allow those knees to relax, come forward any little bit. That might be far, it might be close. And just breathe where you are. Again, you can do that little cat-cow if that helps. Sometimes the rounding of the back and then the lengthening of the spine kind of helps get into different places in those hips and low back. But when you find a place that's talking to you, pause there, take a couple breaths. And two more breaths here. And then as you inhale, slowly walk those hands. And then as you exhale, take that left knee, draw that left knee up, slide that right foot in a little bit, and then just hug that left knee in. So right now you're just hugging it. Good, you're resisting it out while you're pulling it in. So kind of getting into that outer hip. And then again, today, just to keep the spine long and get into more of the hips, you're gonna keep hugging that right knee, or sorry, left knee in with your right hand and bring your left hand behind you. So squeeze it in, lift the chest, press into that back hand, and then press the legs down to find your rotation. So you're gonna feel the spine, low back, outer hip. Nice big breaths here. Exhale fully here. Good, as you inhale, unwind. Lean into that right hand, slide that left knee down and out to the side so you can grab onto that left ankle. And then walk the left knee back, resist hand and foot. Press the knee down, press the hips forward, roll the shoulders back. Ooh, finding that nice little stretch from maybe shoulder to hip, hip to knee. Big inhale here. And exhale. Good, releasing that grip. Taking that left knee forward. Bring both feet forward. And again, that little cow-cat, so inhale, cow pose. 
Exhale, cat pose. Kind of hang out in this rounded position. Rock for a breath. And then lengthen back up. Draw the soles of your feet together. And give yourself a little bit more space than normal, right? So they don't have to be super close. Give yourself a little bit more space. And again, I just like to like wiggle on my sit bones to get those sit bones down. Good. And then as you inhale, find that length. And then as you exhale, you're going to draw your knees up toward your shoulders as you round your spine. Good. Inhale, drop the knees, lift the chest, shoulders drop. Exhale, round the shoulders up, knees toward shoulders. Good again, one more time. And one of these feels better than the other. Stay here for a breath, whichever it is, the rounded position or the lengthened position. Stay there for a breath or two. If you're in the rounded position, stay rounded. Let the knees drop. Continue to round toward your toes. And then press down into those hands. Pull the chest forward any little bit. Press those elbows into shins or into thighs. Find a little inner groin release. And then slowly lift the chest. Take your hands to your outer knees, draw those up. And then come all the way down onto your back. Once you're on your back, take both legs, extend them up to the sky. Take your arms wide and just point and flex through the feet. Maybe make ankle circles. And then take your right foot, place it on the floor. Left leg stays up at the sky. And just kind of bend and straighten into that leg again. Kind of check in with how it felt at the beginning of class into now at how it feels at the end of class. And then take both legs back up to the sky. Ankle circles again. Taking that left foot, press it on the floor. And then bend and straighten into that right leg. Again, just checking in with any differences. And then once again, both legs up to the sky. Point the toes to the sky. And then press the heels to the sky. Bend both knees to your chest. Give them a hug. Really squeeze them down. Lengthen the tailbone. Press the head down. Take a big breath. And then place both feet on the floor. Press down into those feet. Lengthen your tailbone toward your knees. Lift those hips just for a moment. And then exhale, take one vertebra at a time. Drop it down. So uncurling the spine. Tailbone lengthens. Right leg extends. Left leg extends. Good, take up a little bit more space on your mat. Rock those hips a little bit from side to side. If you still feel you need a little bit more support for your low back, you can place a blanket or a bolster behind the knees, underneath your legs, your thighs. And then take up a little bit more space for your arms. Maybe press down into those elbows and tuck those shoulder blades closer together to lift the chest slightly. And then rock the head a little bit from side to side. Finding that center spot, that place that feels good so your chest is open, your spine is long. And then relax the jaw. Give that jaw a little wiggle left and right, up and down. And then take a full inhale. Sigh it out. As you do, get out any little wiggles. So you can rest in your place of stillness. Just for a few moments here of silence, allowing yourself to absorb the energy you've created. Drop in and tune in with your body and mind. And I'll bring you out of Shavasana with the sound of my voice. Take rest.
And allowing your next breath to come in a little deeper. If you feel that you need to stay here and rest and restore longer, please do ignore me. Stay here as long as you need. If your body feels like it's ready to move, start to bring those movements into the fingers and toes, the wrists and ankles, as you continue to deepen and lengthen your breath. Then taking that a bit longer, a full body stretch, reach those arms back behind your head, slide your feet together. And then once again, slowly bend the knees. Draw those knees into your chest again, hugging them in, rocking a little bit, just finding some space and length in the backside. When you're ready, use your arm as a pillow, roll over to one side and pause, trying to stay in that little curled up position. And once you're there, acknowledging any little subtle shifts and changes in the body, especially that back body. And then mindfully press yourself up. Come all the way up to seated. Once you found that comfortable seat, take a couple moments, wiggle in a little bit more, allow the eyes to close, hands resting on your thighs, and arriving into the space onto your mat, into your body. Connecting again with your surroundings and your intention. Hopefully that intention has come through fruition and you feel better in your body and you have more connection with that body and mind. We'll seal this practice in with the sound of OM or a sigh of the breath. Either bring both hands to your heart center in front of your heart or one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Exhale fully here. Inhale. Taking a moment, think of one thing in your life you truly are grateful for. Hold on to that image in your mind's eye as you raise your head with a smile. Thank you for being here. Drink lots of water, eat your veggies for a lot of